Hello and welcome to EQ. This time around, we're doing a video on Aether Energy. So let's get started. The experience of buying a scooter starts from the showroom and Aether sets itself apart right from the beginning. They call it Aether Space. Just one look at the store is enough for you to be drawn to it. White floors, coffee machines, sofas, a cafeteria like segment and iPads lying around are all the things you will find in this one of a kind automotive showroom. The success of an electric scooter depends heavily on the existence of a charging grid and Aether has come up with a smart electric charging grid which was launched way before the scooter did. The Aether grid is currently live in 30 locations across Bangalore and Aether promises that you will never be more than 4 kilometers away from a point. You can simply go to one of these points, plug in your vehicle and you're good to go. There is absolutely no need to authenticate as there is an inbuilt self-authentication feature in the point. It will take about 1.5 hours to completely charge your vehicle and you can track the charge time and the location of the nearest midpoint via the Aether Grid app. Aether is currently setting up a home charging point for no cost when you buy the scooter. Also, for the early adopters, charging at any midpoint is absolutely free of cost. Charging at home also remains free as Aether refunds the entire amount at the end of 3 months. Now isn't that cool? Now let's come down to the product itself, the flagship Aether 450. The front of the scooter is a sharp and edgy design which houses two LED headlights that function well in terms of aesthetics with good luminance and spread of beam. The scooter comes in one color option which is white with green accents which screams premium. The suspension is where the scooter sets itself apart. It uses telescopic front forks and a centrally positioned monoshock at the rear that are stiffened for sport riding but unexpectedly provide a plush ride over bumpy roads. The tyres provide good amounts of grip and the braking duties are performed by disc brakes in front and the rear that provide adequate stopping power. Now coming to the heart of the scooter which is a compact DC motor with 5.4 kW of peak power and 20 Nm of torque which is transferred to the rear wheel through a belt drive. The 2.4 kWh battery that is completely designed by Aether is placed low which gives the scooter a low centre of gravity and aids the handling. What sets this apart from any other scooter in the market is its software and touch interface. The system monitors every component of the scooter and alerts you of any faulty parts before you run into an issue. The scooter learns your riding patterns and suggests a guided route on the display without you having to pull your phone out. Boot space can hold a full face helmet comfortably and also has a small LED light that aids in dark conditions. Now we've been a part of Aether's journey ever since they announced the product in early 2016. Aether showed the promise of being the first ones to take a serious step in this direction and while they took over two years to launch the product, they knew they were onto something really special. And now they share the special part of themselves with us. We don't know if they're going to be big. We don't know if they're going to be the ones who sway an entire generation into this direction. But what we do know is that Aether is willing to bet big on what's coming. During our multiple interactions with them, it was very clear that they're a modern corporation that is not just greedy to get their products out, but are hoping that more players hop in and a greater vision of sustainable mobility is achieved. While they strive to achieve that goal, we will be here showing you how the greatest revolution in automotive history is shaping the future. So stay tuned.